everybody so today what we actually do have here this is a nice repair still a nice uh, MacBook it's the A1466 MacBook Air this is a 2017 model so it's not the latest one but it's the one right before the redesign um, for this one in particular we actually do have a problem with this laptop so um, this laptop in particular has no power but when you plug it in you do see that there is an orange AC light that can mean a lot of different things, especially for this type of MacBook repair. So let's just at least diagnose it and see how it's going to work. So the first thing you want to actually do is uh, test it out to at least to see what the issue is. So we're going to go plug it in there, and we do see that we are going to actually get our orange AC light whenever we do plug it in. With this orange light on, the, the laptop is not powering up, and there's no fan spinning, and the processor does not get warm here. So there must be a short somewhere, and we need to exactly figure out what that issue may be. For something like this, we definitely want to do uh, a few different things. You want to at least uh, check the board itself to see if there's any obvious corrosion, especially on the top of it. After that would be at least to remove the board and to see if there's any other type of corrosion that we might see, or any type of damage, or any burned components, or if there's just a short actually on the, the laptop itself. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go test before we do remove it. We're going to go ahead and test, it's called the PB Bus G3 Hot Main Power Rail. And what that is, it's a, we're testing this for a short to see if it does short to ground. Um, now if this one, what it, it's very, very important because this rail is always on when the MacBook's on. It's also that one wire that, that allows the charger to talk to the SMC. And you always want to check this rail to see if there's any shorts in case you don't have uh, any full voltage going to the laptop. Usually this one again is shorted to ground. Um, this one could be found at F7140. Uh, this you could actually test. This is actually right that big coil that's actually right uh, parallel to where the, the Wi-Fi card is in this one. And when we attach it here, uh, we're going to be testing for a short. And what we should be getting is at least 8.5 volts. If we're getting 8.5 volts around there, that means the SSC will work and it will communicate with the ISL. And what that will do is it will set the final voltages ready for the MacBook to actually receive them. So we are testing it out there, and we do see that we are getting our 8.5 volts. So that's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. So we don't really see that there is an issue there. Now we definitely want to remove the board and at least to take a look at it and see if there's anything else that we do see. Just to see if there's anything very obvious there, we like to do a quick scan to see if there's any um, issues with uh, any components there, if there's any liquid spills or anything else. But it's always good to go under microscope to see because sometimes you might not see if there's a liquid damage or there's a burnt component or something very obvious right away. So that's what the microscope does and sometimes you can't see underneath the components there or there's something very very hard to see so we're gonna be doing that and uh, the most important thing we want to see is especially um, that there is no damage to the actual SMC and uh, this we we do see that the SMC looks very clean and we are getting an orange light um, the SMC has roles uh, for something like this it can also control the thermal and power management it does uh, input output uh, video switch video mode switching lots of different things especially for battery charging as well for if something was impacted like this you would, it would it's definitely a, a major blow and a lot of this does go bad if this is bad then you have a, a pretty big issue but uh, it's usually the one you can see it's usually taped around with the glue especially on the a1466 models it looks pretty clean nothing looks pretty damaged there doesn't seem to be any liquid spills it doesn't really seem to be anything really um, wrong we, we can of course test the boil a little bit further since we have everything unplugged uh, we're just going to go test it one more time to make sure that uh, nothing else is really giving us an issue or there could be another short maybe going on with some of maybe with um, anything else or maybe check anything before we actually do work on the board because you always want to make uh, make your work especially if you're a shop or anything like that you want to start with um, the most um, basic type of issues first and rule them out and then we'll work on the harder stuff especially if it's a board level repair and now since we're testing it we didn't see anything on the board uh, we did notice actually when we do plug it in that the fan does spin the processor does get warm so it does look like that there is something actually shorting the, the board itself there and it doesn't look like it's it's mainly a power issue with the actual board itself so and what we noticed is when we plugged in the trackpad cable that uh, we were actually getting the short and we weren't getting it to turn on so it does look like something is damaged there most of the time you would see if there was any issue with the cable you would actually see the actual damage to the cable itself there but in this case we do know that um, there is a trackpad that the trackpad actually does have a board on it and it has lots of components so maybe something went bad there so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that we do have the trackpad here and we're putting it under the microscope and you can see exactly where that cable is connected that it is actually damaged there at least where the pins are at the bottom part there you can actually see a lot better under the microscope it, it looks very obvious you can compare it to the other pins connect it's not just the trackpad it goes from the the cable for the actual keyboard does connect here as well and it looks like that there is actual a separate board that controls all that 
And um, something can, can be impacted, especially if there's any liquid spill or anything like that, it can be impacted here. But this does look like that there is some damage there. And uh, you can see that the pins are a little bit loose. So you can shake them. I can actually move it with a little tweezer. That shouldn't be the case for something like this. There's two things we can do in the situation. You can watch me uh, fix it, or you can actually just get a trackpad yourself. We actually do sell them at our store. Go ahead and check them out. It's for the A1466. We do have the 2017 model in stock. If you ever want to check it out, you can actually get these replaced. And what that's going to do is it's definitely going to um, help. You don't have to solder or anything like that. And you can just buy the trackpad itself, and then you'll be all good to go. And you definitely want to have a, a good working one and not one that's damaged especially you don't have to have uh, all the tools that we do have here especially the soldering the soldering iron or, or any other tools a microscope it's just an easy swap from here at this point because this is something that can also affect the power on a laptop you can see that the short actually does make quite a bit of a difference for our actual powering on even though it's just a trackpad but the thing is the fact of the matter is that there's an actual there's actual board on the actual trackpad itself does make it more liable for other things to go well. That could be for gesture control. It could be for um, taking the power and going into the actual keyboard itself or just any other features that, that do control the actual keyboard. But once you fix it or you want to replace it, we definitely put it back here and you can see that now since we do have a, a working one, we can actually see that the laptop is now turning on, powering on and working totally fine. There's no other issue. But uh, it's good that we actually did see the issue first instead of just replacing a trackpad because you always don't want to do that. You want to see why the issue is and why and why it's turning on or off. And it, just because you unplugged a few things doesn't mean you're actually fixing anything. Um, for something like this, of course, it's definitely easier to tell with a microscope if you do actually have any type of corrosion or any damage to the board. And if that goes in, uh, that's also um, that would be more board work. And obviously, there would be a lot more other ways to to troubleshoot but it's just this is just a good video just to show you guys how we do troubleshoot here and what's the, uh, the extra steps that might go along the way if you ever see that orange light it could definitely mean a lot of other things um, don't don't just think it can be a trackpad definitely can be a liquid spill it could be some corrosion but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed watch this video on how to repair uh one of the the many few repairs on the orange light on um and no power on an a1466 2017 macbook Air. This is the A200165-A specific board that does have this problem. I hope you guys found this just a bit informative. Again, we do have these parts located in the description below. Check out our store. We recently did open it. And uh, subscribe for more content like this. We try to do a lot more board repairs. I know it's a little bit of an older Mac, but it's still pretty popular. It's a nice Air still going around. If, if you like the retina screen, definitely go for that one too. But we definitely have videos on that one, the A1932. And we will definitely have more in the future about the M1 for repairs and to see how much of a difference it may be from uh, the older ones. So always just check it out. We always have stuff up and coming. And uh, if you guys like repairs, definitely, definitely subscribe for more of that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy watching and uh, have a good one. Bye.